The tail of the tape in the main event for the welterweight world title. As simple as it gets, how can you get past the records? 26 and 0, that is the very best record in MMA right now. Active record, 14 and 1, and that one loss came against the man on the other side of that sign. So these guys, unbelievable records, unbelievable fighters. The final chapter of an unforgettable return has arrived. It is main event time. It is undisputed welterweight world title time. It's Michael C. Williams time. Bellator MMA live on Showtime from Three Arena here in Dublin. The time has come for the main event of the evening. Five five-minute rounds for the Bellator Welterweight World Championship. Sanctioned by the Mohegan Tribe Department of Athletic Regulation, Chairman James Gessner. Supervising at cage side director Mike Mazzulli. And now, first introducing the blue corner. At five foot nine, weighing in 169.4 pounds as the interim champion. He enters tonight ranked at number one, bringing a nearly perfect professional record of 14 wins, just one defeat. Fighting out of Webster, South Dakota, USA, presenting the challenger, Logan Storm Storley. And across the cage, the champion tonight fights out of the red corner at 5 foot 11, weighing in 169.4 pounds after a year of defending his Ukrainian homeland. Tonight, he returns to defend his world title for the first time, holding the longest active win streak in MMA. He enters undefeated at 26 and 0, hailing from and proudly representing Irpin, Ukraine. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning and defending Bellator welterweight world champion, Yaroslav. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge, Kevin McDonald. Gentlemen, five rounds under the unified rules to unify the belts. We went over those rules in the back. Want a good fight? We'd like touch gloves, and best of luck. After a year of defending his home, Yaroslav Amosov has found his way back to his other home. Ready to fight? Ready to fight? Let's go! 27 months after their first meeting, the rematch for the title. I think in this matchup, you're going to see Logan Storley much more at home, staying on his feet, trying to use his hands against Amazov. He's not going to go right to the wrestling like he did in the first match. In which Amazov stuffed his first couple of takedown attempts, which was jarring because what do you do when everything you've worked for that has worked for you your whole life suddenly stops working? Well, you run into that one guy who all of a sudden gives you problems in your strong suit, which is wrestling for Logan. Everyone knows how good Amazov is with his wrestling. Johnny Eblen, who comes from a wrestling background, University of Missouri, will tell you, man, I'm telling you, he is so hard to take down. He is so good with his wrestling. So he's just that guy. You know, GSP was one of them, never wrestled, but boy, he could wrestle in an MMA cage. How good is Logan Storley's wrestling? Ask Kamar Usman. Yeah, exactly. You know, this is why when you know, Logan Storley is sitting there saying, I believe that we're the two best, you know, Welterweights in the world. Logan trains with one of the best welterweights in the world. He is hurt right yeah, now. Good counter right by Amazon. Amazon. And that John Logan Storm. Amazon is after him. Chad is Ukraine, Ukraine. I heard Amanda earlier talk about how many Ukrainians have relocated because of the war. 
all over Europe, but particularly here in Ireland. Nice and left hand by yeah. Amazon. He's, right. he's now cut scorely. Right near the eye. I mean, just look at the fluidity of his movement, Sean. He is at home. He's comfortable. And this is after a two, basic two-year layoff. It's amazing that he's just walking right back in here. And we had to see it because everybody who was training with him was telling us this. But you just didn't know, given the circumstances, if they were speaking with their heart or their minds and eyes. And, and the, the real truth is you just don't know until it's actual fight speed. There is a difference. And he's showing right now, no, nope, there's no such thing as caged corrosion for Amazon. You see, even from that angle, you saw Storley's head pop back. And he has taken damage every time he's trying to get inside. And yeah, you said he was going to try to stay on his feet, and he has, but at some point, He's getting lit up here. Yeah, right now he's getting the, the worst end of these exchanges. And it's a matter of sometimes how many punches are being thrown. Again, we talk about throwing in combinations. Look at what you're seeing out of Amazon. He's not just throwing ones. He's throwing ones, twos, threes. And those last ones are catching Logan. And in close again. Oh, that that kick caught him on the back of the head. Not a lot, but you never know with equilibrium, and this has been a big first round for Amazon. He looks every bit the fighter he was when we last saw him. Logan might be changing his game plan coming up here because he better. <laughs> the wrestling is something that he knows he can go to, but you better go to it in time that you still have the ability to get in on. Those numbers almost don't even tell the story. Some of these have been big shots. Not only is Amazov winning the volume, he's winning the damage. He has damaged the story multiple times. The story has connected some, but no damage. Can you be too stubborn with a game plan? Yes, you can. There is no doubt about it. There's times, you know, when you go in and you've got your plan, and it's evident that that plan was not well conceived, and it's time to go to plan B. Logan Storley's worst nightmare as he prepared for a fighter who hasn't been in the cage for this long. What if Amazon is better coming back? Well, you know, we talked to Amazon and he talked about the freedom of being in here because this is nothing now. Now he knows this is nothing compared to what he's been through. And he's showing it. Hey, dominant round one. Boy, Amazon looked good here. Nice left hand kind of stung and it goes right after against notice multiples multiples work and that's what you're seeing from Amazon nice left hand again the left hand was the difference maker in this round that right hand is what hurt Logan Storley again the right hand lands but look at the volume look at how many look at all of those shots coming at him and that's what makes it difficult you could block the first one maybe two three and you still you can't block them all and that's what we saw. Amosov has been back in Coconut Creek at ATT, ATT for a while now. It's been several months, which Logan Storley was trying to kind of point out every time people were trying to tell the story. It's not as if Amosov hasn't been training. Hold up, hold up behind the line for me. Man. You can you can feel the people in Ukraine that are able to watch this right now, John. You can feel it. Imagine the celebrations. And if the notion here, if the idea was to feel good and to be an inspiration, man, those first five minutes certainly served as that. Absolutely. And you're taking a look at, you know, that was a nice limp leg out by Logan Storley. But the fact that Amazov was the one that actually initiated a possible takedown attempt, he's trying to just tell Logan Storley, I'll go to this nice attempt by Logan and a beautiful counter by Amazov. That's what you need to do. Someone attempts that takedown, make them pay.
The dominant welterweight world champion looks like he has not missed a beat. Beautiful feint right there by Amazon. He's getting Logan to lean. Logan doesn't want to lean. You got to bring your feet with you. Nice. That was that was very nice and clean by both. Shot maybe once in the first seven and a half minutes here. Remember in the first fight, Amasov stuck the two early takedowns. Again, look at the volume. Yep. Not ones, not ones, twos. He's going with fives and sixes. Beautiful combination. Left got through. He's he's really got Storley confused right now. Question for the Logan Storley campers, would they see the same guy that they saw 27 months ago? And so far, the answer is no. They're seeing one who's a lot better. Exactly. And it's, it's amazing to see, but you know, it was more of a wrestling-heavy attack you know, by both guys in the first fight. It has been mostly stand-up, and it has been an absolute onslaught by Amazon. Even the shot Storley is landing, he's taken two or three just to land one. And an easy stuff. Oh, yeah. Easy stuff. And just the well done. Just well done by Amazon. I mean, it's just so smooth in how he transitions to the defense of his wrestling. Stopping a guy that we know, man, he's so good with his takedowns. Amazon is painting a masterpiece through eight minutes. Nice uppercut by Storley. And Storley needs to do that. He needs to get into that range where he can use some dirty boxing. What you heard the sound of that kick. And look at the damage it's doing to yep. that calf. You can see it. And Logan is doing nothing to check that at all. He's just eating it. Logan Storley's only blemish was the split decision loss to Amosov. And right now, they look like completely different levels. And now you can see the damage. Storley doesn't even look comfortable on the two feet now. Oh, no, and you see him switching stances, which is not good for Logan. By switching stances, Logan now has his normal foot that he shoots with. Is it not in position? He wants to be an orthodox stance, but that leg has taken some severe damage in this round. I mean, Storley has taken a lot of punishment here. He has. There's no doubt about that. He is in a position where he's absorbing, and you can, again, there comes that point where it just becomes too much. Your body starts to shut down. Your mind can be tough. First was a three-round fight, remember. This schedule for five, an emphasis on schedule. And these guys, this is a high pace. These guys are going. Nice movement by Story to get himself out of range. Oh, wow. Combinations. And that's the difference right now, Sean. These combinations, we talk about it all the time, about don't throw ones, just don't throw one, two. And Amazon is picture perfect in what he's doing as far as throwing combinations. Oh, nice, nice attempt by the local story there. You've heard the stories. Well, Amasov looks unbelievable in camp. It's amazing. You wouldn't believe it. And I think a lot of people didn't. We should have. And Johnny Eblen almost brought to tears in that interview just now, talking about everything that Yaroslav Amasov has done. Just again, talking about how he has looked on the Coconut Creek. And man, I think they were underselling it. Well, I'll tell you, <laughs> he didn't tell us enough, did he? No. It was so odd talking to him this week, and he just was so much on his mind. He seemed so happy to be here. Beautiful right hand landed by Amaz up there.
Logan finally get in on that leg. He's got it. That he's trying to turn around, turn the corner, step over that. Amazov knowing exactly where he's trying to go. You see that's why that hand goes inside. Lift need right out. Watching, tweeting, talking to Amanda. Johnny Evelyn been heaping the praise on his teammate, and deservedly so. Well, Logan Storley really showing a chin here because he has gotten hit by some big shots, body shots, and he's still hanging tough. There's Johnny Evelyn. Another left hand, right hand. See the damage. That is no lie. Another big shot gets through from Amazon. He's thrown in combinations. Getting multiple shots at the same time. He has hit that right kick to the body on Logan's story at least six, seven times now. It's going to have an effect. See Logan Storley has got southpaw here. He just ate another left jab. So now Logan knows that in that first fight, he had Amazov in trouble in that third round. He got tired. And that's why he's trying to push the pace here. He's trying to push him into that, that place where he gets tired. I just don't know if he can do it from what's happening and, and, and the way that Amazov is looking. Amazov does not look tired at all. Oh, big yeah, left hook. Right on the chin. And that's what Logan Story talked about, the deep water, the fourth and fifth round. And it's natural to think when you had the guy tired and you were the better conditioned fighter the first time in the third round, you get to those later rounds. But I don't think anybody on Story's side could have imagined the punishment he would take in through the first two and a half just to get there. Well, and we talked to Amazov about that, and he said, look, that camp was the worst camp of my life. I was dying trying to lose the weight to get to weight. He goes, I never felt so bad in a fight, so... That was his story, and you know, I'm going to believe him because, boy, he looks different right now. Sean, I cannot tell you how much that hurts. And, and <laughs> Every time I watch, I'm like, oh, that hurt. Think of the crowd over which you are hearing those kicks. And take a look at these strike stats right now. Oh. And here comes Three some more. shots. Now into the takedown. And Amazon takes Storley down. Is go, trying to work his way back, but he knows that with Amazon having his hands clasped, he was going to get taken for a ride. So he's just taking his time, biding his time, waiting until he can get a hold of one of the hands, and you're going to see him stand up from that point. That's what we're talking about. When you exit, make them pay. That's exactly what that kick was. This has been a clinic. Look, I have been a believer of Yaroslav Amazov since the first time I watched him fight. When he was going to come into Belgrade, I said, man, this guy can fight. And I've never seen him look this good. 624 days away, and that was off the dominant performance off one of the best fighters in Bellator history in Douglas Lima. And I think we all got so caught up in the story, which is extraordinary, and we just forgot. Before it all started, this is one of the best fighters in the world. Well, there's a reason why he's got the best record in MMA, and he's proven it right now. He is the full package. He can fight everywhere. We don't have time to show you all those strikes on the stats we showed you. No, but we'll show you a little bit. Look at that nice right hand right there. Lands clean. It's not a very heavy shot, but it lands clean. Here comes the jab. Throws to the body, up to the chin. And look at the multitude. Boom, 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 boom. Just keeps on throwing that body kick has landed. How many times? Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, that's the difference, Sean. It's amazing. And here's 
where he gets to the takedown. If anyone's going to bet, normally you're going to say Logan Story is going to be the guy getting the takedown. Johnny Evelyn seeing the takedown and gets <laughs> yeah. all excited. I don't understand why. He's, oh, wrestling. Got it. <laughs> We're talking about how Logan Storley has gotten dominated here. How many welterweights in the world would not be dominated against this performance right now? I'll tell you how what. How many would still be standing? People, Full marks right there. People better take note. You're looking at the best welterweight in the world right now. He can do it all. No quit in Logan Sterling, still coming forward, still going after him, trying to figure out that one thing that he's going to see the opening. Big shot. And Logan's hurt. He has been hurt. He was hurt in the first round. This has been a remarkable, gutsy performance. And John, even you are flinching at these shots now. Man, you can hear him. You can feel how hard Logan is getting hit at times. And it's like. He's just, he's hanging in there, but man, you can only take so many. And you have been three feet away from some of the most devastating shots ever landed in this sport. No doubt, there you go, exit, exit. exit. make him pay, oh, beautiful. At some point, you gotta think about the damage that Logan Storley has taken here. At what point is this fight no longer winnable? When you talk about country tough coming from South Dakota, there is no doubt Logan Storley is just one tough individual because he has taken some big shots and he's still coming forward looking for that chance, looking for that moment. Not even close, not even close. No, and so well done. Notice again, making him pay when he get, puts him out of position, holds him. Shoots the shot on him. Six failed takedown attempts for Storley. And they truthfully haven't been close. with Logan Storley, and I know. Ah, there yeah. goes the leg. The leg that Amosov has been chopping at throughout this fight. And honestly, that's a good thing for Logan that Amosov went for the takedown. His leg's not going to get attacked right now. He's going to get back to his feet. You're going to see Amosov trying to, if, he, if he's going to let go, he's going to exit. Trying to do some damage here. Nice job of kicking the leg away. Here it goes. Turns his back, eats another left. Storley sticking with the southpaw stance. This is as courageous a performance as you're going to see from Logan Storley. Oh, my God. I mean, look, think about those numbers and that damage. I mean, it's amazing. He's taken 210 strikes on and hard ones, just like that, even when he blocks it. Yep. Silva. 
Anderson Silva landed that same strike on Tony Franklin knocking him out. This has been such a disciplined performance in addition to its dominance. Precision. Maybe the most shocking moment of the night. Logan Storley still on his feet through four rounds of this. And Amosov has more takedowns in addition to everything else. Nice job by Little Cats in the off leg. But he's going to run out. Took away the vision and that eye in the first round with that cut. He took away the lead leg in the second round. Every time Storley's tried to get in close, he has paid a huge price. I think eight punch might be underselling it. Oh, my. oh nice clean right hand straight again. You see the Storley's head getting popped back. This is what he looks like after 624 days away. Yeah. Obviously, time means nothing to him. No. And most of you know the story. He will get a little time with his family when this fight is over, but he's going back to Ukraine to fight because that battle rages on. The one he is taking what he calls a vacation from. Talked about those athletes throughout the years that have taken time away in the middle of their careers to serve their country. I've never seen anyone that would be able to stop all of Logan Story's takedowns throughout a fight. And it's just amazing what I'm seeing out of Amazon. It almost seems silly to second guess such a one sided fight. But go back to the early rounds, and there was almost a stubbornness to Logan Storley, almost that the game plan was to wait until maybe the third or fourth round. Change levels, and you realize now, looking back, the only chance he had was to use his wrestling in the first round. And if he got stuck, keep trying. But he stayed on his feet, and he paid a huge price. Well, and you, you look, and you look at some of his prior performances, and his stand-up has really gotten way better. It's just he cannot stop the multitude of attack that Amazon is bringing in all of those combinations and the different angles he's bringing him at. There's no one that's going to give this guy trouble if he continues to fight this way. I mean, there's just more in the arsenal that we haven't seen, and you're hearing. 24. You know, normally I don't want to see a fight go to a decision, but I'm looking at this and Logan has put on such a great yes. fight. And I just want to see more of Amazon and what he's going to do next. It's just amazing to me. Amazon will be the story worldwide and rightly so because of his dominant performance. But here we are, 84, 83, 82 seconds away from the storm somehow surviving to make it to the end. There's definitely no quit Logan Story. He's gone after Amazon with everything that he can in this fight. He's eaten some huge shots. So Logan Story has nothing to feel bad about. He's given everything you can give. Another left gets through. Level change, and even that comes in place.
Kovacov still throwing big shots late in the fight. We didn't know as he wrote this great story after two years away what it would look like when he returned. Would he be the same fighter he was? It turns out he wasn't. He was much, much better. A truly dominant clinic of a performance returning. One of inspiration from a dominant world champion at the top of his game. Take a look at some of the action here. Storley looking for the takedown. Nice shot. He's, you see Storley actually just getting that one shot in here. The body shots over and over. That kick to the body happened. Storley doing everything he can to close distance. And then when he does, shot right to the chin. And then the, here comes all the volume. And it happened over and over again. One, two. And then three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Even when Storley landed, it was Amazon finishing it off with the better strikes. Just a brilliant performance. We've seen many flags in the cage over the years, but never seen one that meant more than the one that Yaroslav Amosov has behind him right now. And that you've seen strewn throughout this crowd. Flag that has been worn by people all over the world now right draped over the shoulders of the world champion to Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance in this world title fight, we'll go now to your three judges at cage side Brian Miner, Sal Damata, Eric Colon. All three see it the same at 50 to 45. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous. Decision and still Bellator welterweight world champion Yaroslav Amazon. Tears of joy, of relief, of grief, of so many different emotions for the world champion is with John Ladies McCarthy. And gentlemen, I am here with the still. Bellator welterweight champion, a man with a 27-0 record and the best welterweight fighter in the world. Yaroslav, what do you have to say to the Ukrainian people? Ukrainian people, I love you. I love you, my people. And uh, please give me one minute. I want to say uh, one year. Yesterday, it start one year when Crazy Putin start big war in my country. He want to kill uh, kids, every people who from Ukrainian. And uh, I want to say, I want to say, I want to. Thank you. Thank you, my Ukrainian army for defense my country. Thank you who help my country. Please not forget what happening because today this crazy guy attack Ukrainian, but we don't know what he do tomorrow. Slava Ukraini. Thank you. Yaroslav, you put on a brilliant performance against a, a great fighter in Logan Storley, but this fight was completely different than your first. What was it that you were doing inside here that made you so successful tonight? Give me, please, translator. <laughs> uh, again, please. Who should, who should get it, the next shot at your title? Next opponent? I don't know. I think it's, we must uh, question big boss, Scott Cocker. And uh, I think he give next opponent. Yes? Sounds good to me. Anything you want to say to these Irish people here who came to cheer you on? Thank you. Thank you, Dublin. Thank you, Ukrainian. Thank you, our world. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the number one welterweight in the world, Yaroslav Amazon. <laughs>